Hey guys, Aquaman here. Today I have my first official subscription box for the month of June. I only have a few this month. I believe this one, the Marvel Collector Core, and um, Pop in the Box, um, which is uh, unfortunate, but just the way uh, I'm budgeting my my uh, my whole finances and stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to save up for uh, a couple of classes next fall, so I need to you know put a damper on these subscription boxes. Um, but basically, this month's, uh, this month's, uh, Marvel Collector Core is, uh, themed Women of Power, so those are, there's a lot of, um, Marvel, uh, female comic book characters in this box, in this box, um, especially, I guess, uh, what's her name, uh, Spider Gwen, I think that's her name, um, I'm not a fan of really any female comic book characters aside from like the major one like Wonder Woman um but well basically it's all female comic book characters so this will definitely be going to a lot of my female friends especially my girlfriend so um and I think she saw a couple of the items she's actually a fan of um of comic books I didn't know it until pretty much I started these uh, subscription box unboxings and she saw some of the items and she got into uh, reading comic books which is pretty cool um, and she actually knows a, lot, a little more than me which is pretty pretty funny um, but basically let's just jump right into this and see what we get I know most of this stuff already because unfortunately they shipped this out really early um, and I saw some stuff on social media I saw what the pop is and stuff like that so my excitement level is on the medium side, so um, let's just jump right into it and see what we get. I'll put a value and stuff like that and rating, and uh, see you guys right, soon. So, like always, we always get a pin and patch with the, this box. The first item, uh, the, the pin, I believe that's um, Spider Woman, and I have no idea who this is. Um, Please leave some something in the comics in the comments, and let me know uh, who that character is. Um, but I'm assuming it has to do something with Captain Marvel, um, Carol Danvers. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All for right. So I guess they're starting with their spoiler card. Obviously, the spoiler stuff is on the back. Um, if you guys haven't noticed on their uh, social media. The next box is going to be Spider-Man, which I'm so happy for. Um, and I believe that's uh, the new suit, uh, you know, from Civil War. So that's really cool. Um, I wish they waited until June um, to, or whenever the new Spider-Man film's coming out, to do a Spider-Man box. But I'm assuming they'll probably do another Spider-Man box down the road. Because he is such a beloved character. He essentially... He is essentially uh, the Mickey Mouse of Marvel, um, and then obviously has a. They're advertising Civil War Two with Spider-Man. It's pretty specific. I'm not going to go over the spoilers on this. Um, so let's so just jump right in. T-shirt here. It looks like it's Spider Gwen. So let's just what jump is right. right in. It, it is Spider Gwen. It's all sprawled out for you guys to see the design. It's simple black and white, or I should say black and gray. Um, it's really cool. Um, I could actually make this into a. A tank and wear this to the gym I don't I don't mind that design at all I don't <laughs> I don't mind being a little feminine wearing this shirt um, I could definitely see myself wearing this to the gym definitely and then the next big item is the comic you always get a comic with these uh, with these Marvel Collector Core Funko boxes um, it's a Civil War 2 I think I guess uh, you know, the comic ver book version there. I guess they relaunched it or whatever um, And they did a sequel series to it um, Basically has the value right there of how much it is. It's uh, you know a popified uh, version of all the uh, female characters um, There's spider-woman. I think that's lady Thor right there I uh, got C Captain Marvel Electra um, I have no idea who that is, but that's pretty cool. The next uh, two smaller items, it's a She-Hulk Mystery Mini and a Captain Marvel Mystery Mini. I'm not a fan of these Mystery Minis, so I will keep these in the box. Um, I've never been a fan of the Funko Mystery Minis. I've never seen the collectability of these at all, so 
These will be in the box. I'm not opening those up. Uh, I'll give those to my girlfriend as well. She'll probably be really happy with those too. So. And then the last good. item of the box is a uh, Squirrel Girl. So um, I've heard so many uh, people love this character. Um, I actually don't know anything about it, her, um, but I heard she's a fan favorite among the Marvel community. Um, and it's got uh, a few of the female uh, characters in there. Uh, Spider-Gwen, Unhooded, Unmasked, uh, Captain Marvel, She-Hulk, Spider-Gwen, and then Ca Captain Marvel Masked. Um, and it's got a little squirrel in there. Um, I'm not sure if there's an actual name for the actual squirrel. I'm assuming there is. Um, but this is a really cool design. I actually really like this. Um, and I'll definitely be probably keeping this one in my collection. So it's pretty cool. And then that's it for the rest of the box. Uh, it's a bunch of uh, designs like always with Marvel Collector Core. Um, so let's just jump right into value and uh, I'll put everything all right guys, together. So here are all the items you get in this month's uh, Marvel Collector Core. You get the t-shirt that's obviously a 12 to 15 dollar rate uh, range. It is a nice quality t-shirt. It's from Funko. So I'll probably give that around 15 dollars. Um, the two mystery minis since they are exclusive to the box. Um, I'll probably give those around together. I'll probably give that around $15. So that's $30 right there and then combined I always combine these the pin and patch. So that's about $5. So that's $35. So basically you just paid for your box right there and then The pop I probably give this around $20 because it is a nice nice mold of the character um, I really don't know much of the, the character's origin or anything like that but I heard that she was actually featured in a cartoon, one of the Spider-Man cartoons, so I'll have to check that out. Um, and the comic, um, oh, so value-wise, uh, definitely 20, 20 to $25, so it's about $60 combined with all this stuff. And then you add probably like about eight more bucks um, to the actual comic. Um, so that's about $68, so you're basically paying for the box and... I think double. I think it's double the value, which is really good. Um, it is probably uh, my least favorite uh, Marvel Collector Corp boxes, so I'll definitely give this probably around a three point seven five out of five, just because um, none of these characters are truly like I, I like. Um, but the value is amazing. You know, you always get double, sometimes triple the value with these boxes. Um, with the Funko boxes so you know that's always good to have so um, 3.75 out of 5 for this box which isn't too bad um, I would give it a 4 just because if it was a better character like maybe like if they didn't do a She-Hulk like a, a regular She-Hulk like and they threw that out in, in the public I would have loved that I like I like the Hulk character and I like uh, I remember her from the actual uh, 90's uh, cartoon series from the Hulk series. I would have loved that if they made like a, a six inch of her or something like that. That would have been really cool. Um, but nonetheless, it's really it's a really good box. Um, <laughs> like I said, most of these items are probably going to go to my girlfriend. Uh, and she'll probably read the crap out of that, that uh, um, comic. Because I think she didn't... She, I heard that she, uh, she didn't read that. So I'll probably give that to her for her birthday, which is coming up. So... Well, this will probably be going into her birthday gift little um, haul that I'll do for her. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this little uh, unboxing video for you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.